ATM was formed in 1972 by the Board of County Commissioners in Washoe County and it existed mostly as a, as a volunteer agency with, I think, a, a paid chief. We had 250 volunteers at one time. We had 11 stations we were running. That included volunteers and paid stations. I started with Truckee Meadows in 1972 as a volunteer with Sun Valley. Became a captain in 1980. Well, when I started with Truckee Meadows in 1976, it, it was a lot different. Uh, we had no HTs, handy talkies, radio, portable radios. So if we were on a call and we needed help or assistance, we'd have to run back to the engine, grab the radio inside the, the uh, apparatus and talk on that, and then go back to the call. When I started to work for Truckee Meadows, the technology was pretty uh, archaic. <laughs> we uh, had military six by sixes that we converted into brush trucks. Most of the equipment when we started were old and used, a lot of it was surplus military equipment. Apparatus has changed a lot and the way we go to fires has changed a lot. My very first structure fire, I remember getting on the back of a tailboard and believe it or not, it was 30 below zero. And I was so cold, I could barely even move, let alone pull a hose. I think one of the most memorable calls that, that, I, that I can I think of is, is the galaxy crash. In uh, 80, 1985, we had Flight 302, the Galaxy crash. It was uh, <clears throat> it was in January, right after the Super Bowl and everything, and uh, crashed on South Virginia. I was battalion chief on duty. I was the incident commander, and uh, we had 70 some people perished in that. We had agencies from all over respond to that. TM respond both from the north and the south. We had airport authority on the scene, and it was a very, uh, mer not memorable, but it was one of those incidents that you that stands out pretty much so, because it was just overwhelming for most everyone there. Well, when I was hired, uh, we were notified of calls uh, by plectrons and pagers, and uh, my initial radio that I had at home was the original Sparks base station radio. It was just a bunch of tubes and a speaker. As far as technology goes, when I got hired, uh, we still wore Nomex, which, uh, transitioned to PVI. We wore plastic Mattel helmets, transitioned to fiberglass helmets. Uh, you know, the engines have changed quite a bit. We went from open cap to closed cap. We still have, uh, almost all of our engines, all the engines were uh, open cab uh, in the rear. As a single individual responding to a call. It's hard to drive the engine and to uh, look at the map at the same time. Sometimes you'd have to stop and figure out where you were going before you, you know, got to the call. Mapping was pretty basic when we started out, uh, especially in a one-man engine operation. I had the map book, basically a binder, in front of me on my lap with a flashlight trying to look at the map as I'm driving down the road. The fire services technology has, has evolved, uh, as you can imagine, as technology just across society. You can also apply that to the fire service, uh, particularly our protective clothing. I remember being issued these half rubber boots and wearing uh, blue jeans to structure fires and having a coat that had holes in it, uh, a pretty flimsy plastic helmet. Uh, it was, we were not protected very well at all and we really didn't have enough SCBAs to go around to everybody, so we got a lot of smoke. Yeah, I think, not I think, I know we've come a long way in the fire service. I could say back in the 70s when I started, with the open cab, you get the, the feel of the air in your face. You can actually see better coming onto a scene, especially on a structure fire or even an automobile accident. You kind of get an idea what you're gonna do with staging your equipment. Uh, and you had two people uh, in the cab, but that was on a good day if somebody wasn't on vacation or sick leave to see what was going on. Uh, the underpowered equipment we had, we had old gas engines, which for a weight ratio to horsepower, it didn't work well at all. You just couldn't go that fast. Truckee Meadows is, uh, uh, just stands out as being one of the most fire services or fire departments in the forefront for Washoe County. We've grown as an agency. We've almost doubled the staff. Uh, we've modernized our stations and our rolling stock, our fire trucks, 
in our equipment, and uh, I think we're doing a fantastic job. We added paramedicine. Uh, we've added a wildland division. Uh, we're doing a lot of programs for the community, including green waste and ash cans and community outreach. Uh, I think we have one of the best relationships with our community uh, of any fire department uh, in Nevada, in my opinion, and, and uh, we, we really enjoy, the culture of this department is, is really about serving the citizens, and I see that in every single employee in this district.